Hi guys, welcome back. I'm gonna be showing you how I blow out my hair. Um, this was a super requested video, um, so I'm just gonna walk you guys through it. Um, I'm also gonna be showing you products that I use like in the shower and like dry shampoo and stuff like that towards the end of the video. Um, so yeah, if you would like to see how to get like a bouncy, um, very voluminous blowout, then just keep watching. All right, so the first thing that I put in is the Redken Acidic Performing Concentrate Leave-In Treatment. Um, I use their shampoo and conditioner also in the shower. I really, really um, love their products. I love that line. Um, I think it does a really good job at like smoothing out and uh, moisturizing the hair. So I'm just applying this all over. I focus it mainly on the ends, but I do go in and apply on the roots also. Um, if your hair gets oily fast, I wouldn't apply it on the roots, but I have like naturally curly wavy hair, so um, I apply it all over. So now we're gonna rough dry my hair. I rough dry it probably about like 80% dry. Uh, my main focus is the roots. I really, really dry all the roots. I don't really touch the ends when I do a rough dry. I just focus on the roots. So I'm taking the Bionic uh, blow dryer. Um, I like this blow dryer. I'm not super picky with them. Um, so I'm just gonna blow dry my roots. My hair is gonna look crazy, so FYI. So I'm just gonna go in and do that. Okay, so now that I'm rough dried, obviously my hair looks crazy. Like I said, I have naturally like curly, wavy hair, um, but I actually have Brazilian bonders still in my hair, so it, it straightened it out a little bit. Um, so yeah, my hair gets frizzy and really dry looking. So um, what I'm gonna do now is section off right above my ear. Just making sure that your sections are really clean especially if you have curly or wavy hair, you know when you have like that one hair that just like sticks out because you didn't straighten it. So this is what I'm left with right now. Um, I'm gonna go back in, just blow dry the root, make sure the root is dry. I do this for every section. I go in and make sure the root is like bone dry. You need to dry it from the roots and then the mids and then the ends. And yeah, so I'm gonna blow dry the roots and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm gonna split the section in half. And a little trick that I do is whenever I'm done with the section, I throw it to the back. Um, and I don't touch it, I don't run my fingers through it, nothing. I feel like this helps the curl really hold and that bounce really hold. Um, because if you're running your fingers through it and touching it, you're like not letting it fully set. Um, so anyway, I work back to front. So I split this section in half. I take this, I'm gonna talk it through first and then show you how I blow it out. I am using the Ceramic and Ion Speed XL Olivia Garden Brush. I don't know what, it says 45 extra large. It is a long um, bristle brush. Um, so I'm gonna show you without the blow dryer on. So I hold this. My hair always goes underneath, hair underneath the brush. I always blow dry this, okay? And then I flip it and I blow dry like this, okay? And then I always leave the ends out. Of course, like I said before, I don't touch the ends until I'm done with the strands. So I go mid and blah, blah, blah. I go like this. And then sometimes I take this and just smooth it out a little. But the biggest thing is not blow drying down. You wanna blow dry out. That's what's gonna give you that volume. And then at the end, you know, you do your little turns and you twist, and then the ends will be blown out. So I'm gonna show you with it on. Thank <laughs> you. 
So after I do that, I roll it up so it's still hot and I just leave that there for a few seconds. So when I unroll it, see how it gives that bounce? I'm not gonna run my fingers through it, I'm not gonna touch it, I'm not gonna do anything, I'm gonna let that set like this. Throw it to the back. I don't wanna look at it to the end, nothing. Now we're gonna do the front part. Guys, I promise if you try this, you're going to be obsessed. So I just unravel it. See how it gives another nice little bounce. Throw it to the back. I don't care if it's frizzy. I don't care. Um, just make sure you keep going over that same section until it's nice and smooth. Like I said, leave the ends out until the end. Um, have that be the last thing that you blow out and then let it set. Um, I have to say that I love this brush. Um, it made my blowouts speed up so much i didn't think it would like it would actually make them faster but it really does um i will try to find it on amazon and link it down below it really really helps because you can take a little bit bigger sections i'm going to do the same thing on this side So on this side, I like to go underneath. Um, this is just because it's like the opposite side for me. So I'm just making sure that the roots are really dry and then I just do the same thing that I did. Roll it up. It doesn't have to be perfect either. And then I'm roll. See, it gives a nice bounce. I know it may be hard to tell with the bounce and everything um, because I don't have like lighter pieces underneath and I don't have a lot of layers underneath also. So when I get towards the top, you're really gonna be like, oh my God. And we're just gonna keep doing this all throughout the head. I'm gonna zoom you guys in just so you can see a little bit better. And like I said, I'm just throwing everything that's done to the back. And we will see it later at the end. Okay, so now I just work in sections going up. And this is when you guys will really see um, the dimension in my hair also because of all the angles and everything. So again, I just work back to front. So you can either split this like this or like this. I normally go this way. It's not really a big deal. As long as your sections are like nice and clean, it's fine. Oops. Okay. I'm gonna zoom you in on this side also, just so you can see I look crazy. Watch this one come out. Oh, it's gonna look so good. Oh, it looks so good, okay. So when I get to the front, I do have a lot of baby hair, so I like to blow it back and also out. Nice little curl, throw it to the back, don't touch it, don't run your fingers through it, nothing. And I'm just doing the same thing on this side. I have a lot less hair on this side, so um, if you're wondering why the sections may be a little bit smaller on this side, that's why. Just going in, like I said, just keeping your sections nice and clean is really important. 
to getting a nice blowout and also having a lot of tension when you're blowing out your hair. So making sure that you're holding your hair nice and taut. Um, you're not just kind of like this, you know, you're pulling and, and making sure everything is nice and smooth. Again, I'm gonna go in with the roots and just make sure everything is super dry. Well, it's gonna be so good today. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Okay, we're gonna do this front part again. I'm gonna blow it like backwards first because my baby hairs. Hold it there. Let it go, see how it gives that bounce, that volume. Okay, so we're getting towards the top. We're gonna work in this back section first. I'm gonna split this in half and do half this way and then half the other way. Let that go. Same thing on this side. Guys, you're gonna literally be obsessed. I'm telling you, I don't know what it is. I think it's the brush and the technique, but it just like, it makes your hair so bouncy. Okay guys, so we just have this top section left. So I'm gonna do two sections on top and I'm gonna blow dry this forward and to the sides. I kind of just do it in all different directions, um, but I like blowing it uh, forward for a lot of volume. Hold it back like that, let go. I just, like I said, I leave it, don't run your fingers through it, nothing. Alright guys, are you ready for the reveal? Alright. Are you ready? It's gonna look crazy at first, okay? <laughs> so this is what it looks like, guys. Right after I blow it out. So now what I do is I kind of just go in and see if there's any pieces I need to touch up. Any pieces that aren't smooth. Um, but yeah, this is how bouncy it gets when you like let it settle and cool down. Hold on, I'm filming a TikTok. Okay guys, so this is the final result. So basically after I do this, um, like I said, I'll go in and kind of blow out if I feel like I have to um, like smooth anything out. Right now everything looks okay. Normally it's like this piece I normally go in and touch it up, so I might as well show you guys just how I touch it up just go in sometimes I hold it sideways too and then just pull see it gives like a bounce but I really only do that to smooth it out if it needs it um, and then just because my hair like, like I said is like a little dry I like using the Olaplex oil and just kind of run that through my ends lately. I don't use a lot of this either. And then just some in the front. 
that is it guys this is how i do my blowouts and they last up to a week week and a half and yeah so yeah this is the finished look i love my blowouts um I really hope you guys learned something from this video. Also, um, I do quickly want to talk about some products that I love for in the shower and out of the shower too. So for in the shower, I like to use the Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, the shampoo feels weird at first on your hair, um, and then when you go in with the conditioner, it feels like great, it feels amazing. I don't know what it does, but it's, it's very, very good. And I do love using the leave-in conditioner also, which I use today. So when I lighten my hair, I love the Redken Extreme Bleach Recovery lamellar water um this stuff is incredible um you can literally feel the heat of your hair when you put this on like the ph like going back to normal like i said i don't know what what it does what's the science behind it no idea um it's so good i've gone through a, at least like four of these i just wanted to save the bottle to show you guys because it's so good and then like i said the olaplex oil i love um, I've actually been loving the um, K18 leave-in mask. This is my second time using it. I used it today in the shower also, and it is amazing. Um, I definitely have to get more of this. Um, I saw, like, literally the day after I bought it, Michaela from TikTok was in a commercial. Um, so it may be hard to get right now, but... It is absolutely amazing. So for dry shampoo, obviously, like I said, my blowouts last like a week, week and a half. Um, obviously, my hair gets a little bit oily. It doesn't get too oily though. Um, but I really like the Moroccan oil dry shampoo. This is the dark tones because my roots are dark. Um, so I go in with this. I like to smell. I like. It doesn't like give me that weird dry shampoo feeling. I only use a little bit of it though. Um, and yeah, I really, really like this a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys in my next video.